Hi, we're back. Both of us. We got a bunch of products from Glitter Hippo and Solar Color Dust. They're sister companies. We're going to today try, this is called Glitter Hippo, mm -hmm. Holographic Micro Glitter. It's really cool. We've seen some videos. We're gonna try it today. We got eight different colors. Um, trying to keep this short, eight different colors. Uh, so we don't have such a long videos, but I, I don't know. There's so many steps. We're going to just do Glitter Hippo, the holographic micro glitter today. We will do the solar color dust another day. All right, we're going to start getting ready. So we don't know what makes us so special, if it's special at all. We don't know if you can do the same thing with Mod Podge or regular glue, maybe some medium. I don't know, we'll try some of that another time. For the purposes today, we're gonna use this. We're going to mix it 50-50 with water. Um, I'm using distilled water. I don't know that it matters, but that's what we're using today. So here we go. So we made a bunch of extra rocks. The manufacturer specifications for this holographic dust is to back coat, base coat your rocks black. So we painted a whole bunch of rocks black. Um, we're waiting for the tacket to dry. We made a thick coat. I just put them on this tray. They say you can use a hair dryer, but we're gonna wait for it to finish drying and then we're gonna test out some of these colors and see what happens. Okay, we have a number of these that look like they're fairly dry. Um, they're shiny, they're a little tacky to the surface. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. These glitters can be spread with these little makeup brush things, but the videos we watched showed that using your finger is more successful. It spreads it in more evenly and there's less waste. Uh, I think we'll probably get some containers to put this in because I can already tell that using this stuff out of the bag is gonna be a huge pain in the neck. So let's see what happens. Give it a shot. Oh, that's rad. Oh, it's actually working. All right. So the glitter is completely adhering to the tacky surface. We're just gonna keep rubbing it around. I got the sides pretty good, so we'll just keep rubbing it. Yeah, the package is a pain, so we'll have to get little containers to put the glitter in. But I'll finish putting it on this rock and then hold it up so you can see it. And then we will probably fast motion through the other colors, so this video isn't four hours long. So, okay, let's see here. It's super, holy cow. Um, I think it looks shiny, but it, it's still, it's tiny bit rough where you can feel the glitter. They have said that until you coat it with something like resin, this can absolutely be scratched off. So if you hit it with a hard surface, you'll get a scratch across it and it'll ruin the effect. So I think you can resin it at this point and then paint over it, or you can paint carefully and not, not hit it with anything and then make sure to seal it with your spray sealers. And ultimately we like to resin everything just because it lasts longer. So I'd say this is a massive thumbs up. Highly recommend it. Super easy to use so far. Maybe a little messy, but uh, we're liking it. So let's let's jump on with the rest of the colors and see what happens.
Okay, we did all eight different colors that we have. Um, very easy to use on your hands. Um, almost no waste. I mean, there's just a teeny tiny bit of glitter on the paper towel that I have down here. It seems really, really uh, simple. A lot goes a long way, a little goes a long way. So I'll show you some of these, the eight different colors that we got. So you can tell here, there's a little spot where we didn't have, I must have missed it with that, they tack it, that's okay. In the, in the video, I can see it shiny, almost like it looks like it's clear and wet. It is not. It's, it's kind of a, it feels like glitter. It's, it's a little tiny rough to the touch. A little tiny gritty. It, it looks super smooth, but it's going to be fantastic. I, I, I'm not sure what we're going to paint on them yet, but at least for base coat purposes, these work really well. We've got a black one that I, I, it's, it's hard to tell, but this is so cool next to the regular holographic. And these are all holographic dusts, not just regular glitter. They're holographic, so I think as long as we don't scratch them with anything. My daughter gave me uh, the one for red that looks like a heart, so that's kind of cool. I think as long as they aren't scratched, then we can paint on them carefully and seal them, and I think they're going to look really cool. So as of right now, we're giving the Glitter Hippo holographic micro glitter an absolute two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> I got nervous. We're gonna podge them before we paint them because I want that stuff to set and not flake off. So we're podging them. Back soon. Okay, so we mod podged them to possibly set the glitter in, hopefully. It'll make it easier to paint and uh, less likely to scratch. Just a little precaution. Um, we can easily paint on top of Mod Podge and then podge it again and then clear coat it and then resin it. But they look amazing. Um, the Mod Podge didn't really change anything at all. They still feel a little grainy to the touch. Even though they look shiny and wet, they're not. They are. Um, they feel like there's glitter on them. So I'd say at least for this product, we give it a thumbs up. We will eventually paint something on these and finalize them. That will probably be another video, but for our purposes today, base coat with Hippo Glitter, flying success. Highly recommend it, easy to use. We are going to get small containers to put that glitter in though because it was a pain using it out of the bag. Other than that, thumbs up.